And usually the power that comes out on me when, when I'm offended, my wife hates hate this throughout our marriage. I say bet. We, I don't know. My brother used to say it when I was growing up. And I'd do something to him. He'd be like, bet. That means I'm not going to get you now. I'm going to get you later. And I'd rather you get me now because I don't, I can't exp I don't know when you're going to get me later. I don't know where it's coming from. So I used to hate bet. He'd be like, okay. Oh, you going to do me like that? Bet. Then he'd walk away. And then all of a sudden you sitting down and you get pop and you get hit in the back of the head. And he got you back later. And so I used to hate him. But I started saying it. Oh, oh, so you're going to do me like that? All right, bet. So my wife was like, I hate, I hate bet. I hate bet that I hate it. I used to be like, oh, bet that, bet. All right, bet. No, no, you, nope. You ain't got to help. No, you ain't got to do it. No, don't worry about it. I got it. Bet, bet. I'm offended. When I'm, when I'm offended, that means, you know, I'm going to do it all without your help. And it's gonna be right, and it's gonna be dope. And you ain't, and you ain't gotta help me. I'm getting ready to use my power because I'm mad and I'm offended. But I'm gonna show you this is gonna be the hottest thing ever, and you ain't gonna get none of it. Bet. See, I'm using my power because somebody done turned on my power because I'm offended. Turn on my power because I'm offended. You know, you know, it, 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 it. you dress a certain way, and somebody offends you about what you're wearing, and and now all of a sudden you're showing up in in wedding gowns because you want to look gorgeous to prove people wrong. Can you turn on that power to do the will of God? Can you do it? Yeah, you can do it. I do all things through Christ to strengthen me. I got the strength. I got the power. God said all I have to do is talk. Let me not overthink this thing. Uh, rent be paid. Bring. And, and this, this is the confidence that I have. If you paid it before, you're going to pay it again. If it's late, you're going to give me the late fee. If I get put out, you're going to give me something better. The worst will never happen to me. So I learned to go to sleep in the midst of the storm. That's like Jesus. How in the world are you sleeping on this boat? Because he understood that the worst can't happen. A storm can't kill me. I got authority over it. I'm a God. The most comfortable thing, the most uncomfortable thing that I got to say, I'm going to put scripture on it before I say it. And then I want y'all to see something. All right. Proverbs. say something that's going to make religious people uncomfortable. Man, I ain't about doing religion. I'm about doing what God tells me to do. I'm worried about that. I mean, if you can't see, we go in church in the warehouse. We can eat nachos in church. You got to know that we are, we are, I'm out of the box. That's out of the box. You know what I'm saying? Um, 82 and 6. I'm sorry, not Proverbs, song. I'm looking at song, saying Proverbs 82 and 6. Right. Now, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to read the whole thing. I'm going to start at 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. So my first question was, in, in, in my version of it, there's a big G, God standing in the congregation of many, he judges among, and then there's a little G, gods. 
So my first question in my mind was, well, who are the other gods? Okay. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? So he's pretty much saying to these other gods, how long are you guys going to judge unjustly and, and accept the persons of the wicked? Then he says, man, defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. He's talking to the other gods. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the land of the wicked. All right, so the big G is telling the little G's to do something. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk out, they walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. You shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, man. Oh God, judge the earth. For thou shalt inherit all nations. He is talking to men. The big G is saying you are gods. You're a god. I read a post by T.I. And I was like, man, how in the world you get this revelation before church? He's standing with Jay-Z and he's standing with uh, Puffy. Standing, standing with Puff. And he says, from pimps to kings to gods. And I was like, man, I might be tripping, but when Jay-Z started calling himself Jehovah, he took another status. Now, who he served, that might be a dilemma in my mind. I don't know if he served God through Jesus. I just know that God gave men authority and he called himself a God and people respect him as that. The power of life and death is in the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you think you are God, then people start treating you like one. Regardless of what church, church people say, if this, so I'm like, now he's like, he's exerting his power, maybe out of offense, maybe out of fear, maybe out, but there's still power being used. Church people won't use theirs because they keep depending on me, said the Lord. When I told you to have dominion, I walk by my kids' room, Hey man, that's your room. You clean up. It's my house. Your room. I, I don't have what? That's your room. I give you authority over that room. You you do whatever you want in that room. Clean that room up. That's your room. That's your room. That's your stuff. And and, and, and nothing like little gods, my house, fighting over territory. When one God comes into a God in another God's room, you hear the roar of God. Get out of my room! Because he understood that daddy gave me authority in this room. And now you're trespassing without my permission. Well, if my kids understand that at the house, why we can't understand this in the earth? If the spirit of murder, get, tell him to sit your tail down, he'll do it. You know why people keep murdering? Because church folk won't say nothing. Anything is happening in your house, you ain't took no authority over. 
had a house in the woods. And I said, I do not want to see a snake at all. I don't want, I hate snakes. I don't want to see no coyote. I don't want to see nothing. I don't, no, I'm in the middle of the woods where they all, the, the, I don't want to see none of them. I know they out here. Uh, Mona's brother was at the, down by the lake. He came up. He was like, man, it's a big snake in the back. I like, I don't want to see it. I came up. It was one night. He was like, man, y'all didn't see that coyote? He was, he, was like, a coyote. he was like, man, it was a big old coyote. I don't want to see no coyote. One day, it was uh, July, 14th, uh, July 4th, and we were getting ready to go out do firecrackers. And Love Jones stepped over a black head snake coming into the house. First time I had seen a snake five, six years. Antonio was there. Antonio, like Tarzan. I never seen a more easy way to kill a snake than how he killed that snake because it was in violation of my words. It didn't make it past the threshold of the door. That joke wrapped <laughs> He wrapped the snake up. Now, when I talked to him later, he said, man, man, I was scared, but I, I was just moving. I don't know how I was moving. I don't know how I did it. But what he did was he just, snake came in, he wrapped the snake up in the rug, took it out, chopped the, the rug up with the shovel. He killed the snake in like two minutes. Oh, he was like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, I know he did. But I didn't. Even, I can't even remember what the snake looked like because that quick my words came into action. I said I don't want to see a snake. And so that, so so what I'm saying is, even if my words don't fall to the earth, I get offended like I'm a god. And say God or angels or whoever missed that assignment. Get on your assignment. I said no snakes. That's how I'm talking to the earth. That's how I'm talking to as a God. Now, I didn't call you a God. The Bible said, ye. Ye are God's children of the most high. God called you a God before he even called you a son. He called you a God before he called you a son. I breathed into you. You are a God. The ability on, is on the inside of you to declare a thing, to, de to create. That's how saints and sinners, gifts are given without repentance. Everybody have power. But most of the time, the church in the kingdom, we don't use our power because we keep waiting on God.